I guess we keep that. Let's play a mountain. And Kumano faces Kazan. Probably counter one of our belts, but I think when he just entered the battlefield, it's just the best time to play Goku. Yeah, he's going to counter it, right? Got blue open. Not going to counter it. Ah, Lila and Bike. But we can still swing for. Forty-five percent of health is already gone. Hmm. Well, yeah. again let's see if he's having another binding yeah I see. getting our bloodthirsty at three hey damage we end the turn up the beam Start. End of this turn, I like it. I like it. Be a monarch. Yeah, let's play the game. I guess not. He will have something. We are produced Goblin. Okay, so he's at two. You gotta wipe the board now, I guess. What here? Invasion of Sandy Car, an invasion of Sandy Car. Okay, he does. Alright. Good. So, we are standing once. Let's try again. I'm not quite sure about this hand. Opponent has taken a mulligan. I think it's okay. Let's need one more mountain though. Battlefield launch ward not the end. Oops. Cavern of Soul. I 
Alright, I explained the attack there. One time. Actually, we urgently need another land. Problem. This guy cannot talk. I'm afraid we are going to go. And now backswing. Okay, there was not much we could do, I guess. Maybe we should have mulliganed to... I don't know. Our hand was not ideal, but I guess it was good enough to not mulligan. I don't know. Next opponent is My Little Pony. Um, okay. Cool. Only four Wondra. But we can scry with Play with the Fire. Hmm. I'll keep. Cry will help us to dig for what we need. It's taking them up. Back. Among this. Back. Oh. Additional cost to cast the spell sacrifice a non-land permanent exile target non-land and flashback. Oh, not bad. Okay. Going down. And end of his turn, we try. Have to have too many lands. We have to find something good. Oh, but he's going to heal. And with 3 3, this guy is pretty sticky. Not too helpful, but better than a land. Guess I'll play it. Uh oh, I'm afraid we are screwed. Just got back. We're fighting a pony. Yeah, we are fighting my little pony. I don't know why. I don't know how. But we are losing against pony.
it's going to banish or chick. He's going to go for one. This is not good. We are so low on resources. Oh, another mountain. Fuck. This is really bad. You can already cast this right if he wants. External got three cards in hand. I guess we are done. Not possible to come back here. The one downside to when Magic the Gathering. Getting mana flooded or mana screwed. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You're right. I have played really, really, really many TCGs. And I think... Um, that mana resource problem is really uh, not many um, not many TCGs are getting that right. Um, the probably closest to ideal, I think, is um, the Game of Thrones living card game. Where your resources are represented by gold and you choose a plot card every turn and on that turn you have a, a certain amount of gold and then um, you have if you have a card with a lot of gold and you can play a lot of cards you have a downside and if you have not much gold you have an upside and like this you can control how many Mana you have. I guess we are going to grind him down. He's taken too much mud against. I think those games that have no mana resource at all, like Yu-Gi-Oh, they are just... They got too crazy fast. You can... Basically, in new heal nowadays, do everything in one turn. That's just not fun at all when everyone is just playing for their OTK. Oh, um, One Piece, I have never played. In Disney Locana, actually, I have only tested a few games. It's pretty similar to Magic. And they addressed that problem quite cool, because you can use um, nearly every card for ink. And ink is like the mana in that game. It's like they have a little, a slightly different mana symbol. And then you can use those cards that are usually creatures or spells or artifacts or enchantments. You can use them as mana or as a creature. So I think this is a cool approach. Um, on the other end, what I don't like about Disney is... There are so many stuff they copy straight from magic. It's pretty close to magic. So, and it's more expensive than magic. So I see no point in, in playing Disney um, too much. And there is actually the community in my region is fairly small compared to the Magic community. So I just, just rather go to the Magic pre-releases, to the Magic drafts, than to play Lokana with just four or five people. Then I'd rather go to a magic event, to a small magic event with maybe 20, 30 people. 
Ah. Gotta discard a card. If we find a mountain, I think Godric will be good. But if we don't find a mountain... Ah, end of festivities is not going to be... Yeah. I was really thinking about... Um, going all in on Disney's Lokana. And when it was new, I was really hyped up for the game. And I wanted to buy a lot of stuff like booster boxes and decks and so on. But it was not available. It was just not available here and everywhere. And it was so overly priced. And then I lost it. Totally lost it. And I thought, like, screw that. I just play magic. I used to love to had a giant in Magic the Gathering. Very hectic. Yeah, that's cool. When we have a um, pre-release in our store here, they always do um, two-headed giant um, pre-releases too, one day. That it can get really crazy. I wish we had one more mount, but I guess we can get it. Mm. This looks like he's playing an aggressive deck. Chrissy! Time to duel! Welcome back! Nice to see you! How are you doing? End of festivities would be so strong. We don't have it right now. Let's play our chick. Good. We done with daily already? Yes. We played Atlantean Magic. We were going 6-4. It was okay, but we are not back in Mythic yet. We were just falling down in the last game again. Oh, we really need end of festivities. I'm just scooping almost everything in gods. While uh, it's beep. I know it's struggling, but at the moment I like potential. I want the full library. Yeah, I was thinking like that too. I actually have nearly the full library of cards. But I paid probably way too much. And I really hope, I really hope that Gods is coming back. Oh crap, how could he cast that? Ah, uh, this costs one less to activate for each legendary creature you control. Damn it. Like, Winter's Bounty was 20 bucks at one time, and I got it for like 3 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm really afraid that the game is going to die. I really hope not because I have so many cards and I've spent so much money for those cards and I like the game in general. I want it to be good but it's not looking good I think at the moment. Bullrun could save everything though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
There are other games too. Oh fuck, that was probably a mistake. We are dead. Hmm. I don't know about Bull Run. Are we going to have a bull run for sure? Or is economy going to screw everything? Might not be a bull run, we don't know. Or maybe if we see a bull run, uh, maybe new projects are leaving gods into dust. I think they, j uh, they are just moving way too slow. The progress they do is just too small. How much time is Gods Unchained now playable? I think it should be a fully fledged game now, without bugs. Way more appealing to look at. Way more player friendly. Something like if you start up Hearthstone or if you start up Magic the Gathering Arena, just a smooth experience. And that's just not the case. And I think they had that chance. They had so much time to, to make this a good game. To be fair, Magic the Gathering has bugs too, I heard. Yeah, for sure it got bugs. But they are so rare. I have played Magic the Gathering Arena maybe even more than Gods Unchained. I think I'll, on Steam I have way, way more than a thousand hours. And on the other hand, if there is any bug and you report that bug and that's Bug has led you to some loss, for example, in a draft or in a sealed game where you have paid for. You get your entry fee back completely. And they addressed that really fast. There is, it's different how they, they deal with it. And it's way, way, way more rare. You are encountering bugs. I'm wondering now if we should keep her. If we draw a mountain, put for 5 mana, give her a 1 1 counter and cast Lightning Strike from our graveyard. Full refund if any bug. Yeah, and in magic they do it like this. I think this is a huge upside, plus there are really way less bugs. I cannot... I cannot remember that I had any gameplay bug. Usually the bugs are more like... You have a disconnect, or you cannot enter a game, or... If you invite someone from your friend list, there can be some bugs sometimes. But it's so rare. And in-game, with the card interactions and so on, I have never seen a bug. What's a friend list? <laughs> yeah. That's funny, I, I have here a, a little friend list that's just like people that I have met in the game and you can add them to your list so you can play them again if you want. Isn't that crazy? Totally crazy.
the long arch veteran okay this one is going to die to our end of festivity only a few more years we will have one if god will be alive still then yes Finish this guy. Movement officer. Nice. Yeah, Talia. Oh, he's going to be pretty unhappy about our end of festivities here. Deals one damage to everyone. Brutal Qatar. Hmm, we gotta finish that guy for sure. Or maybe not yet. Let's play Godric, we can swing for four. Not sure if we wanna play this yet. Missing a land drop. Being not able to play both lightning strikes. Okay, screw it. That's good. I will regret it though if we draw a mountain next turn. Oh, mountain. Um. a goblin token coming up for four lightning strike oh gee spell oh yeah you are though yeah yeah when they re reprint the cards they usually slap on some new art This guy got lifelink. Oh. Knight of Errant Eos. Okay. That was wrong, my friend. And block him. We get through with enough damage. We can lightning strike his face. Done. Right. Five wins, three losses. We are grinding our way slowly, slowly up. I want to try to make it up like one rank up every day. So maybe we can do one rank up. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, it's okay. I guess I'll keep that hand. One mountain more would be nice, though. Hmm. I'm wondering. I hope this guy is all right now. Having a removal. Be giant, create a treasure token. Okay. I expected a Boros deck actually. Oh, this is an artifact deck. Holy crap. Simulacrum synthesizer. Try two. 
When another artifact with mana value 3 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, create a 0-0 colorless construct. Artifact creature with token with this creature gets 1-1 one, one for each artifact group. Oha! Interesting. Here we go. So it's going down to ten. We look for a mountain, I guess. Yes. Monstrous Rage. Okay, let's play a mount. Let's play a Swift Spear. Swift Spear. Anu to trigger their power. I guess we try to attack and see what he can do. We got still four mana open. The Wandering Emperor. Okay. Damn it. So now he's going to off. finish this one. Okay, and gain two. And yeah, then we play our Rage, or I guess what this one. Oh, how? Is what you get for hurting my exactly people. lethal. Two more wins in a row and we rank up again. Let's see if we can do it. We, uh, again, we had a mountain more, but it should be all right if we draw one too. So we have a mountain. So this looks like playing control for sure. Add white mana. Spend this mana only to cast artifact, spell, or activate ability of an artifact source. Exile one or more artifacts. You control with the mana value X. Return target artifact card with the mana value X from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. Whew. So, Swift Spear, I guess. So it's basically the same deck we faced before. Probably. Let's play the chick. Attack. Lightning strike in the face. And he's down. Oh, he needs his board wipe, I guess. Power Stone. 5 5 on. Um, he got 2 mana left. He can play 2 creatures still. He can block that one. Too. Let's attack. Bring the chick 
back next turn. He's down to one. Getting close. Getting. Oh, another one. Fuck. Uh, now we need direct damage, otherwise we are dead. So close game, so close. Oh, and we got it. He's no counter. However, it's GG, however. however it's, we did it. <laughs> that was really, really close. So, seven wins for today, so far. One more win right now when we rank up. Let's try our best. Jasperon? Oh, I think the hand is... It's playing... Monstrous rage. Let's try. Play with the fire again. So this does two damage. If we play now monstrous rage, he will go to. Oh. One more. We keep that. Play the rage. We attack for it. Hmm, mechanized warfare. Cool card. Really cool card. So he kept her untapped. So we play with the fire with her. Then we play end of festivity and say GG. And we rank up. Pretty nice win rate for today. Eight wins and three losses only. Cool. We rank up to platinum two. Quite satisfying. Quite satisfying. So guys, I guess uh, I'm going to take a short break and then I might play some limited. Um, Wilds of Eldraine? What do you think about that? Or Outlaws of Thunder Junction? I guess Wilds of Eldraine is cooler right now. I haven't played that for a while. I'll be right back with a new cup of coffee and I hope you stick with me, guys. Thank you for watching. Right back.